this is how you reflect objects in Adobe Illustrator. So we're gonna go over to our tools panel and we're gonna click the pen tool. And using the pen tool, we're just going to click out a bunch of points. Just so we have an odd shape. And with this odd shape on the board, let's uh, change this stroke because it's absolutely hideous. Sometimes you may have drawn something on one side that you may want to flip and reflect to another side. Now, a quick tool for that is to hit the O button on your keyboard or go to your tools panel. By default, your rotate tool is in the same area that your actual reflect tool is. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the rotate tool, hold it down, and then you're gonna go down to the reflect tool. And you'll notice that it says that the O is the hot key for actually using the reflect tool. Now, <clears throat> once your object is selected, if you were to click anywhere on the board and drag down, it creates a line of symmetry and it will reflect according to that. So we can do it here, over here, or <clears throat> if you don't wanna use the actual reflect tool, you can go to your menu, you can object, transform, and you can click the reflect option. And you'll notice originally with preview off, this is how our shape looks. <laughs> but if we wanna reflect, let's say horizontally, if we were to click it, you'll notice that it flips over a horizontal axis. So if we were to click the vertical, it'll click and actually flip over a vertical axis. And if we were to use the angle, which is essentially what the reflect tool does directly, you can actually change and specify the angle of reflection. And you can either click OK and it will transform that, or if you click copy, it will bring a new copy with the reflection and leave the old copy in its original place. And that's how you use the reflection tool in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you.